Andrew Junior actions, man. Ooh. Andrew Turner actions. That's what I'm talking about. That's where the cool stuff's at. Hey, welcome to another edition of Andrew Turner Auctions. We're coming up. This will be August 30th, Thursday. Doors open at 5, auction starts at 6. So these are some kind of Pootsy International Mid-Century Modern Mannequins. Pretty sure some kind of high-end uh, European stuff that's weird shoes to be having. I guess you can't tell what sex they are. That's strange. But pretty cool, one of a kind. Somebody's going to look up Pootsie International and figure out what those are. And this is awesome. Probably a good six feet tall. Maybe it came out of a, one of those F.A. Schwartz toy family. I mean, something. KB Toy and Hobby, something. Uh, it's uh, really well made. Probably some kind of... Uh, it's not wood, otherwise it would weigh like 100 pounds. Um, but a good solid resin of some kind or fabric, fiberglass in awesome condition man holidays are right around the corner and that would be a stellar way to bring in the season got some cool stuff over here i'm starting on the you know when you're coming to the auction we're actually going to start on the other end but i started over here because we had some pretty cool looking stuff these are all lego characters collectible ones. Check out the photos. I tried to do some details. You're going to want to just get here if you're into Legos and check these out because these there are one of a kind characters that they'll never do again. It's pretty wild. Um, very nice. That's very funny. McDivitts. <laughs> Old Putts Retirement Home. Gone golfing. For you golfers out there, that'd be a nice purchase. Old West Magazines, 1964 through 66. Here's Old West Magazine, 67 through 69. Those are cool. The 1950s True West. A lot of stories. Uh, very cool stuff. People still refer to those for, to you know, ideas for movies and westerns and stuff. Because that stuff's getting forgotten over time. The crazy stories. Really nice radio. Can't really figure out. Think it needs to be attached to something. But this opens up and there's a phonograph in there. We're pretty sure it somehow slides out with the right. Not sure. Anyway. Maybe you have a bunch of watches you want to display. You got it. Look at that crazy lamp. That is above and beyond. Liberace would love this lamp. The size of it, the crazy colors, really nice lamp shade. Yeah. All right. I'm backing up. So I'm going to be going from stage. If you're looking at our, you know, the front of the auction house, I'm starting at the left, going right. Normally we would go from the right, going left. So. You know, you, when we do the order of things as the auction progresses. Very cool stuff, man. I hope you guys can see this. Look at that. I mean, a metal bodied uh, Model S J. Duesenberg model. It's all there. That's awesome. We have some crazy good models. There's some crazy good Crystal, Waterford, um, the other makers. Freaky uh, old people dolls. <clears> they <throat> or they're ceramic we've seen them before they always kind of do rather well actually um, anyway and that's kind of neat somebody did a, like a sheet metal dog this is a Pez dispenser but it's like a plush toy all right more Waterford lots of crystal lots of glass look at all the pretty glass more up here. That stuff's supposed to glow in the dark, so it's that kind of uranium-y stuff. Neat models. Cool busts. It's a neat little, like a resin molded sculpture of a dude in deep thought. 
cool old scale, old water getter. Western field cooler. <clears throat> we got a storm rolling in too, so things might get exciting here. Here's the characters from that awesome children's book that every cool kid read. Where the strange things. Yeah. So some cool stuff. You can't see the front of it. I have it turned around so somebody would in the rear can see. But multi-drawered like a spice chest. These are full of records. Those slicers are nice. Everybody needs one. Some kind of crazy not even like Lincoln Logs, it's a little more uh, precise. I mean, walls and building homes and pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. This thing's really neat. I finally figured out what it is. It's a little engine. You put a T light in here, and the flame heats this up, which starts the piston moving, which then powers a generator that lights this little light bulb up. All from a little T light. Really nice hams. The hams beer salt and pepper shakers. I know somebody that would love that. Uh, quite a few folks, in fact. This is pretty cool hourglass. It's got metal shavings and a magnet at the bottom. Um, this is really chill in here. Uh, this is, you can see. I don't know if you can see that, but it makes crazy designs because the, the little. Anyway, very cool. There's another cool hourglass. Nice. That is metal. I'm not sure what kind, but it's a pretty interesting sculpture. Men of the Woods. That's a McCoy, an old McCoy cookie jar. Cool Indian TP. One of them there beating sticks. Uh, some kind of ninja equipment. Um, there's a really nice semi automatic uh, pellet rifle back there, CO2. There's three grenades and some really nice uh, bino binoculars Jason um, the but man they they have they are very clear I was looking at them very steady very clear very nice binoculars banana box big giant one there are two of these uh, the other ones on the flip side I can't get to it uh, foreign films that starred Frank Sinatra um, pictures by J.R.R. Tolkien and these this is his artwork of what he it's really cool it's 1979 very excellent condition check out the photos I kind of got off on taking photos of many many pages of that uh, awesome coins Morgans Morgans fees dollar fees dollars and then you know more uh, everything from I know they're, look at that, 1721, Sweden, 1721, that's an old coin, awesome cool stuff, you know, Morgans, Peace Dollars, we have preview, uh, 11 to 1 on Wednesdays, so you can peruse and check it out, all kinds of treasures up here. So this will be where the auction starts. We'll go the other way, and then I'm going to start hitting the tables and everything else. Got to see these. These are beautiful radio consoles in awesome condition. Rarely do we get them in this kind of condition. Yeah. I know two are Philco's. I'm not sure what this guy is. I took pictures though. It's I think it's an RCA for some reason. It's on the back. This one's awesome. Big old console. Beautiful stuff. Back here, some big giant JBLs. Uh, obviously, somebody made their own shell to them. Uh, big monsters there. 
Thomas the Train, like all of it, the kit, toy box, all of that. Here's accessories to Thomas the Train, build towns, all of that stuff. Has all the trains, I believe. It's crazy. Um, hospital bed back there, unused, brand new condition. Look at that, pretty cool. It's a six foot tall ruler. That's a pretty darn cool print. Uh, speakers, you're gonna be seeing pretty soon here uh, all the stereo stuff we have. It's insane. We have a ton of awesome stereo stuff. We haven't had that in a while. These are all gonna be sold by the bin that I'm showing right now. Lots of, there's already quilts that are done. There's quilt materials. Lots of material. Then near the end here, it turns out that's all Nerf guns. Nerf guns, Nerf ammo, a whole tub. We're going to sell it by the tub. Awesome toys, crazy amounts of stuff. There's a bunch of uh, pallets as well. There's a whole Christmas scene down there. See how it's kind of a muted grayish color, like it's marble or something? Well, it's not, and it's a lot lighter than that. But, uh, you know, Christmas is right around the corner. Just saying. Stereo stuff. Tons. Look at that. Entire consoles. Uh, you're going to want to check the photos. It... I'm, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to, there's a lot of techniques, there's a lot of, uh, man, all kinds of stuff. Sony. Um, there's, there's, you know, Hanamex, IMA, IMA, I, I, there are some brands I'm unfamiliar with, so I'm just kind of... A lot of Pioneer, a lot of AIWA, Iowa, or however you say it. Um, a lot of blackface stuff, but look, beautiful Marantz turntable, you know. Kind of goes on and on. Let me show you this side. Getting stormy. I don't know if you guys can hear it, the rain and the thunder. It's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. Big record consoles. A lot of them have 8-track built-in, 8-track players. But not all of them. There's some modern stuff there. Yeah, you're going to want to check out the photos. You're probably just, if you're interested in, you know, uh, stereo equipment, you're just going to want to be here. Come during... You know, like I said, we'll on Thursday we'll open the doors at five. Auction starts at six. So, look at all that cool stuff on that table. Very cool stuff. There's a compound bow, Ford F-150 mats. I should show the uh, furniture because we have quite the. We finally popped the old lock on this thing, and it was empty. Thank God. Um, very cool chest, though. Hefty, beefy. Quite the sewing table with just this little minuscule sewer. Very neat. I'm not sure what kind that is, but yeah, I can't tell. Very cool. There's a more modern one. These are nice looking chairs. Kind of match this crazy off yellow sort of strange. It's an immaculate shape. But what a, you know, interesting color. If you had a yellow room, it would fit right in. Very nice chairs back there, you know, got the low type dressers, very nice. There's a modern looking one at the end. Here's something that's not so modern, an old school bed with the rusty, rusty springs. Wider, might have taken a nap on that, who knows. That goes on top of this, we just didn't do it because the feet looked a little weak so we decided to put them next to each other um that way the buyer i i would go ahead and set it up and get it against the wall and then you could you'd be fine putting that on top and just but the two go together 
All right, I've talked about that too much. Wicker, awesomely light and usable. There's a nice dresser, kind of grayish. I don't want to miss anything. I want to give you guys at least a quick glimpse as I'm flying by here. Look at that nice bed. That's an awfully sharp looking bed. Yep, that's classy. Nice dresser. Another type dresser or a buffet maybe? Yeah, good stuff. Precious! All right, let's go over here and give you a glimpse of this stuff. Awesome fan GE, and there's a Emerson. Old school little Emerson in the back. Wow, that's a giant bug that just flew by. It's like the size of a bumblebee, but doesn't look like a bumblebee. It's kind of chasing me around. So if I yelp in pain and drop the camera, you'll know why. I was attacked. Treasures galore. Again, you know, I'm just trying to give you a glimpse. You know, at this point, things are, uh, I need to, there's a lot to cover. This is a big auction. There is a ton of cool stuff. Look at all these tubs of material. Again, tubs, 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 tubs of toys. More Nerf type things, Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels, uh, Matchbox stuff. Just awesome. Look at all the uh, material. Uh, more toys. It goes on and on. And this stuff is in brand new condition. Look at that awesome, great calphalon like cook set. Hey, Ian, the apples? We can help you with that. Apples! Somebody else was into apples and collected apple stuff. And this is by the flat. You get the entire flat. These are all salt and pepper shakers, and they are all paired up. And they are cool. There are some very cool vintage ones. If you're into that stuff, you're, you know, salt and pepper shakers, you should be here. There's a lot of stuff like that. Like, let's say, Matchbox or Hot Wheels cars. Cases, full, sometimes doubled up. More. More, 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 more. Legos, an entire tub. Lego kits, they're already put together, more or less. You might have to fix them up a little bit. Looks like the masts need to be re on there. Tubs of toys, uh, stuff for kids of, you know, look at that, just full of matchbox type cars. Look at that, how deep it is. And we'll sell it by the tub. I mean, how else can we, these are the, I think they call them K-Nex or Kinex, or maybe I'm wrong with that. I, I don't have kids, so I don't, I don't know. A lot of Bionicles type stuff. Uh, more Legos, an entire tub. Look, there's a Lego City set. Um, very good stuff in basically like new condition. Tubs and tubs and tubs all the way down. I showed you that. Let me start over here. We're going to get into Pez's. More toys. There's more Legos. And then somebody had a crazy Pez collection. And all the Pez's you can ever think of. And this isn't everything. We're going to have to bring out more in the future. we got more coming. So just... And when, when it comes to Pez's, some are worth crazy money. You just have to know which ones are the big money ones and which I mean these are all from another country it was like some are from Czechoslovakia Austria just with characters that we don't even have in this country I mean awesome Pez stuff I'm, I showed you that let me show you this Schwinn man it's been a while since I've done a video so 
probably not at my best. Uh, Schwinn Collegiate. That's a darn nice bike, and that thing is clean. That looks like you can just buy it and ride it on out of here. You could connect this thing to the back of your bike to carry all the boxes of stuff that you bought. See? It's all coming out. It's all meant to be, folks. Hi. Cool beer, you know, alcohol, different alcohol mirrors. Those are piano keys. Really nice display case over here. That's gorgeous. Make some cabbage, cabbage shredder. Two very fancy showcases, matching. Uh, yeah, those are gorgeous. That's just crazy. You're gonna, you know, you're living a good life with that. Very nice. Pump water, you could reenact the Hel Helen Keller. You, here's a awesome, you know, harvester type thing. I'm getting to where uh, I can't think of the name of thing. Neat cot, one of those dirty little uh, Disney things. These model models are awesome. I mean, and they are complete. Model T vent. This this is so cool. Model. Yeah, pretty awesome. This all came out of the suitcase from somebody from the Peace Corps who obviously was in Guatemala. Awesome prints. Frederick Crocker Jr. And prints of basically like the costumes. They're in awesome condition. Well, I don't think they were ever you know, none of them were ever framed or probably ever out of this folder that I can't seem to show. Anyway, I'm just going to leave that alone. Cool Guatemalan type straw hats or some maca type things. And then they make uh, sandals out of rubber from tires. Pretty neat. Old school back. Hey, we're back to whoo, Andy Tuna, man. Talk about Andy Tunas. Ooh. Yep, this is the cool place to be. So, come on down and see us. Thursday night. Look at that, 48 star flag, quilt. I hope I covered everything. Uh, I probably didn't. But, uh, come on down and check it out for yourself. Doors open at 5 this Thursday. See you then, folks.